My name is Mike Wessel. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Revis. Uh, today we're introducing the latest version of Revis and Viewer. It is our uh, virtual reality system for microscopy images. We take images from any uh, three-dimensional microscope, confocal, wide field, multi-photon, spinning disc, electron microscopes, or even x-ray microscopes. And we can take those images and bring them directly into virtual reality space. We're the only company in the world that can do this. And in the virtual reality space, we do volume rendering of your data. So the data doesn't have to be converted into surfaces. So you can see all the detail within your, your image. For a researcher, this gives them um, tremendous advantages, that they can take themselves and they can place themselves inside a data set. And then using their hands, they can move around inside the data set. They can pan around inside the data set, they can zoom inside the data set, and position themselves in positions that they couldn't see in any other way. And by simply taking their head and moving their head around, they can actually look around structures like neurons um, in their data set. A Revis viewer is uh, unique that while you're in the data, you can start to interact with the data. So you can start to, for example, put in measurement points on your, on your data set. By simply reaching out in three-dimensional space with your finger, you can start to measure objects and start to segment objects. And this is a huge advantage because it's time-saving for a researcher over uh, a desktop application. Arrivas is very special because it's the only system in the world where you can really interact with this data in virtual reality space. And why that's important is the data sets are growing bigger in size and more complex in, in nature. And by, by being able to immerse yourself within the data set, you have the advantage of being able to see new structures, but also to extract the information about those structures. We're here at Neuroscience showing this for the, the neuroscience industry, but it also applies to anyone doing any sorts of industry, so, or imaging. It could be cell biology, it could be developmental biology, but on the other side, it, it applies to healthcare as well. So when you're doing a CT image, for example, of, of a human, you could place yourself on someone's tumor and look around at the vessels and organs that are surrounding that tumor. So it has applications across a number of different vertical markets.